안녕하세요 여러분, m 입니다 And as some of you may notice, for the past few months, my schedule of uploads has not been the most consistent thing out there, for which I am very, very sorry. I still really appreciate all the love and support you guys are sending my way, subscribing to my channel, liking, sharing my content, and for that, I would like to show a little gesture of gratitude with a giveaway! Yay! <laughs> And as you all know, I hold subscription boxes and specifically Korea related subscription boxes very dear to my heart, but Nevertheless, today I am giving away this bad boy right here, which is the Inspire Me Korea subscription box. This is their festive collection, which is all about Christmas, so I cannot wait to dig my hands into this. And because I cannot wait to get my hands on what is inside this box, you guys gotta wait for all the rules of the giveaway until the end of this video. So without further ado, Let's just get unboxing! Oh my god! Look how festive the inside look already! Oh, this is such a cute sticker! <laughs> the first thing I see is a handwritten letter from Alice and Diana, the entrepreneur sisters behind Inspire Me Korea. They're thanking me for unboxing this box and hoping that I will like it. Oh, thank you, girls! And the first item I see is by far my most favorite in all of Inspire Me Korea boxes, and this is a Christmas issue of the their special magazine that comes in every single subscription box and inside there are always tons of suggestions and recommendations, information about Korea, recipes, Korean language phrases and vocab and just so 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 much more. The design of it is always so adorable and so cute and oh my god there's even a quiz for you guys to try. This is exciting. The one thing I would say about the magazine is that the font in certain places is so 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 small. I, I don't even know if you guys can see it but but it's so tiny that sometimes the blind person that I am needs to hold it like this close to my face to be able to read it. Otherwise, I think it is beautifully done and oh my god, they're gonna teach me how to make Samgyeopsal. I am totally down. All right, next up I see, oh my goodness, another handwritten letter. I feel like this one is going to be in every box, not just specifically mine. And they've also added a little Christmas card. They're basically saying how they hope that we enjoy their festive box and they're giving us heads up about their January box, which is apparently gonna be really exciting with a traditional Korean game inside and some more handmade products. Nice! Alright, next up, oh, this is good. This is good stuff, guys. Korean face mask. This one is with a calendula extract and it's from the face shop. I've tried a few of their face masks and they're really, really moisturizing. And honestly, this is so perfect for the winter season right now because the weather is getting so dry and the wind is getting so strong here in the UK. My skin is just peeling off my face. So this is going to be perfect for the festive season. I wonder if every subscription box has the exact same face masks or if they're different. Do let me know guys if you are subscribed to Inspire Me Korea. Oh my, I see a lot of delicious goodness on the very bottom of the box. This is really exciting. Okay, I am going to take these guys out first. We got some delicious treats, very authentic. They look very Korean. I mean, especially this one because it seems like it has red bean paste inside, but wait, let me let me just read. Korean, oh, no, 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 this is Korean glutinous rice cake coated with chocolate filled with black sesame cream. Wow, I've never tried this. Let's try it. So this is how it looks. Let's try to break it in half. Oh, wow, do you guys see all this glutinous rice cake? Oh, it's impossible to break. Okay, no, no, it's impossible to rip it. I'm just gonna, just gonna bite into it. Mmm. Oh my god. Mm. This is incredible. This is probably the most fascinating combination of tastes I've ever tried in my life. So this is how it looks on the inside. We can clearly see the black sesame right there. And honestly, it smells like sesame. You know sesame oil that Koreans use in cooking and stuff? It smells just like sesame oil. And the filling is not necessarily sweet. I never miss an opportunity to stuff my face with chocolate, no matter what holiday or season it is. 
<laughs> Alright, I feel like the other one is also a rice cake, yet it has a different filling. As you can see, it's a little lighter, but it doesn't say what is inside, what kind of filling. Oh, I'm already so full from this rice cake. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna try this one, but if you guys have received your box and you have tried this, please let me know what the filling inside is, or if you've ever been to Korea and you tried this specific snack, do let me know. Alright, next up we have this, oh my god, such an adorable little mirror! According to the information I found in Inspire Me Korea's magazine, this is a mirror designed by Dr. Do Nothing, which is a brand with a funny, lazy character meant to resonate with our lazy side that tells you to embrace your doing nothing moment. Yeah, I guess Christmas time is there for us to be all lazy and just eat a ton. But Christmas is not a lonely time. I feel like Christmas is the time when all the families come together. Or, as it is in Korea, all the couples come together and make it a very couple-y holiday. So, I don't know. I wouldn't want to anyone to have a lonely Christmas. Don't have a lonely Christmas, guys. Don't be like this guy. It's still really cute and Christmassy, so I really like it. And the mirror... Oh, wow. It's a really nice mirror. Hi there, camera. Hi there. <laughs> All right, next up, I see an envelope that says 감사합니다 on it. I believe this is a little envelope that you can put some money in or maybe a letter to your family or friends to wish them happy holidays, happy Christmas. So, oh, this is really adorable and really, really pretty as well. Next up, we have some celebrity photo cards. I'm not really sure what, it, what, what these are. There's nothing on the back and, and these are a boy and a girl and I'm assuming, I do not know any of them and I'm I'm assuming though that this guy is from 17 because there's like a little cutoff of 17 word here so maybe he's from 17 if you guys know who these people are do let me know please all right next up we've got two more snack items in this box and it is of course the iconic pepero which is korea's number one brand as it already says on the packaging and this one, ooh, I have never tried these pepperos before. I've tried the chocolate coated pepero with nuts on it. However, I've never tried the peanut one. So I am quite excited about this. I wonder if I'm actually gonna really smell the distinct peanut smell. Mmm, yes, oh my god, so peanutty. This smells like M&M's, definitely like an M&M. Interestingly, the taste of the peanuts kind of outweighed the sweetness of the chocolate, so it makes it a bit more of even like a savory treat rather than chocolate. Like the sweetness is really, really not distinct and like straight in your face. All right, and last but not least, we've got this really scary candy that I really am not <sighs> excited to try because I really do not like sour things. And, and this one looks like it's apparently super sour. From what I can read, it is called Aisha Candy and it is super sour flavor inside. <sighs> The things I do for you guys, the things I put myself through for you guys. Oh my god. So they come in these individually pre packed little uh, packagings, and oh, it's kind of squishy. It's kind of like a um, gum almost thing. Oh, and on the inside, it's probably super sour. Let's do this. Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. Alright, yeah, this is definitely not for me. I'm gonna probably give it to my boyfriend or family or just anyone on the streets or something. Just like, here, take it, it's great. <laughs> oh my, I almost thought that this was the end of the unboxing, but no, there's actually another item here that I totally almost missed, and it's this little cute pin. It is so adorable. It has a little heart symbol. Apparently this little pin was designed by an Etsy seller called Jenny from Sleepiest Designs. So if you do want to look out for these, go check her out on Etsy. And oh, this is so cute. I love it. It's so Korean. Thankfully on this bright note, I'm going to conclude the unboxing of this beautiful box right here. Oh my god, these girls are just improving their designs every single time. And this red packaging was just so festive. I love it. But now for the important stuff that you guys have been waiting for this entire episode, the giveaway. First, of course, you've got to be subscribed to my channel, and if you want to earn more brownie points, you got to be following me on all the social media out there, like the Facebooks and the Instagrams and the Twitters. So. 
please go ahead and do that if you already don't, because if you don't, then we don't get to communicate that much. So that's number one. Number two, of course, you've got to be following Inspire Me Korea on their social media too. Do check out their blog as well. It's really, really well done and there's so, so much information that's really super interesting and relevant. So do check that out as well. So yes, follow me, follow them on as many channels as you want, as you are interested in, because if you're not gonna be following us, how are you going to know if you're the winner or not? Because we are going to be announcing this on our social media channels. Kind of makes sense now, right? And just to make this giveaway a little bit more exciting and a little bit more challenging for you guys, because we want to pick the most dedicated, the most inspired, Get it? It's by me, Korea. Get it? <laughs> Korea enthusiasts out there. So, we would like you to answer one simple question, which is, if you could spend your Christmas in Korea, what would you do, where would you go, and why? If you've already been to Korea, let me know. Did you spend Christmas there? Did you go to some really awesome places? Would you recommend me going to Korea on Christmas and going to certain places? So I'll be really excited to read your comments. You can comment here on YouTube. I'm also probably going to post an Instagram post, so you can comment on Instagram as well. Commenting twice will not really increase your chances, but it might. No, we don't, we don't know. If you don't use those things, you can answer on my Twitter and on my Facebook, because I am going to obviously be making posts about this video on those channels as well so you've got loads of places where you can leave your recommendations and your answers for me to read and then pick one winner who will receive this amazing inspire me korea festive box and with that said i hope you're all staying happy and healthy you're looking forward to the next week and by the way do really look forward to it because i might actually be releasing a new video oh my god how long has this been i'm so 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 excited i mean hint hint my K-drama queen wall, hint hint. All right, I hope you're all having a great time. Bye guys, annyeong.